The gathered ruffle can be an easy decorative trim to be added to garments, crafts, and home decorating items. This tutorial will cover how to create them and the most common ways to attach them. First, cut your ruffle fabric. It can be cut on the cross grain or on the bias. The length of the ruffle fabric should be two to three times longer than what you're attaching it to. So if my hem is 20 inches, I'll make my ruffle fabric at least 40 inches in length. The width depends on how wide you want the ruffle. It's desired ruffle width plus seam allowance plus ruffle hem allowance. So in my example, I want a two inch ruffle plus five eighth seam allowance plus a half inch for hem. My width will be three and one eighth inches. So in total, I want a strip that's 40 inches by three and one eighth. If your strips are not long enough for your project, you'll need to sew strips together. Sew them together on the bias similar to creating bias tape. You can do this by placing the ends at a 90 degree angle and then sewing a diagonal seam. After sewing, trim and press the seam open. Finish one of the lawn edges with a narrow hem. Press up one quarter inch and then press another quarter inch. This would be my half inch hem allowance. Stitch in place using a regular straight stitch. On the other long edge, we'll create the gather. So two rows of basting stitches within the seam allowance area. I can do one at the half inch mark and one at three eighths. Don't do any back stitching. Gently pull your threads to gather the fabric until it fits the area you're trying to fit it in. Make sure the gather is evenly distributed. Pin the gathered edge of the ruffle to your project, matching up raw edges with right sides together. Stitch in place at your standard seam allowance. If your standard stitch length is two, you might wanna increase it to 2.5 or three stitch length for this part. Trim off the raw edge of the ruffle part, leaving about one eighth of an inch past the seam stitches. Fold over the flat raw edge of the fabric to the top of the ruffled edge. Then fold this fabric again to cover the raw edges completely. Stitch in place with a standard straight stitch and now the seam allowance is enclosed and looks nice and neat. Another option is to sew the seam, then trim the seam allowance from both fabrics, leaving a quarter inch left. On the raw edge, finish with a zigzag or overcast stitch. A ruffle can be placed between the seam of two pieces of fabric. One fabric should be designated as the front and one the back since the ruffle has a right side and a wrong side and you want the right side facing towards the front of the project. Take the fabric designated the front and match up the raw edge of the ruffle with the raw edge of the fabric right sides together and pin. Baste a seam between these two pieces at less than your standard seam allowance, so I'll sew at a half inch. Now pin the two fabrics together right side to right side. The ruffle will be in between, but will be easier to manage since it's already attached to one fabric. So at your standard seam allowance, attaching all three pieces together. When the fabrics are pulled apart and placed wrong sides together, the ruffle will now be on the edge. You can press the fabric, but I wouldn't press the ruffled section. You can also put a ruffle around curves like on a pillow or a collar. It's similar to doing a straight seam, but around the curve, you just need to ease the raw edge of the ruffle to fit. But you'll definitely want to trim the seam allowances after stitching to cut down on bulk. Another option is putting the whole ruffle on top of the base fabric. If you want to do this, you need to do a finished hem on the top and bottom of the ruffled fabric before gathering. To prep the fabric it's being sewn to, you might also want to do a narrow hem or at least fold and press the raw edge to the wrong side to make it look neater. Pin the top of the ruffle to the bottom edge of the fabric, both pieces are right side up, and then sew using a standard straight stitch at your machine attaching the ruffle. You can see that even with something as basic as a gathered ruffle, you can get a variety of looks and uses for embellishment and still keep it easy. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.